for me, the best way to introduce is human face. <laughs> as soon as I saw oh, one living being with two eyes, this was, this was human face, then I immediately feel we are the same human being. I don't care what is your country or your belief, but these are secondary. I think young children, see so long, you see, they play together, we smile. They don't care what is their background, isn't it? So I'm uh, acting like a child. That's much better. There's sufficient reason. We have too much emphasis, differences, including religious faith and nationality, color. It creates more problem, more division, isn't it? Huh? So, for such sort of a situation, the only remedy is we must go deeper level. We are same human being, mentally, emotionally, or physically, we are same. So I'm try to promote sense of oneness of seven billion human being. So okay. The, each introduction, uh, and I think generally important, but for me not important. Okay. <laughs> it's a wonderful start. Thank you. <laughs>We are here for our fourth engagement with His Holiness the Dalai Lama, bringing youth from conflict-affected communities who are engaged in the work of peace building to speak with His Holiness and learn from him about inner resilience, resilience and inner peace to help them continue uh, to, to do the difficult work of uh, addressing conflicts in their community and building peace. It's a great honor to be in Dharmasala, India, to meet with uh, Dalai Lama. Uh, it's an opportunity that everyone would want to be part of. Along, along the line, we've been struggling and trying to identify ourselves where are we in the picture of change. So coming here to hear the kind messages of hope and you know, care and support from His Holiness Dalai Lama. To be honest with you, all of these things are things we directly experience in our communities. I have discussed with so many of my other fellows and we have very similar stories. So this is um, very, very relevant to our time and really this has caused a revolution for me personally. It's a life transforming moment for me because I'm going back to my community, I'm going back to my country to, um, to teach more youths. From what I have learned here, I'm going to go spread the knowledge to more youths and let them know, you know, what I have learned over here so that we can transfer the knowledge and have a ripple effect on other people and be of positive impact to promoting peace in, in Nigeria and in my community.